What's up? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'll be going over my thoughts of testing the experimental ATR23 firmware by Dado at this recent trip to Lake Tahoe with the homies. And the goal here is to try to get that saggy back end of mission and the torquey front end of delirium of the XR. It's been really hard to obtain, but I think we're getting closer each time. Vesk power. Ooh, didn't see those rocks there. So this was filmed about a month ago and ATR 23 is obviously passed. I think we're already on 25, possibly 26, but I wanted to share some of the process of what it's like to be testing some of the experimental values that Dado comes up with and sometimes it's not always going to work but wanted to share some of the uh, the journey with you guys so the thought process behind of behind this of how to achieve that mission feel is something called PT1 low and high according to Dado PT1 high affects how high of a nose tilt you can get on braking PT1 low affects the speed at which it disappears the sweet spot that I found is PT1 low at 2 and PT1 high at 7. This gave me the best overall feeling. Dude, that escalated quickly. So what I realized with the VESC programming, the edge carving feature, if, it, if you're familiar with it, is that when it hits a camber sideways, it'll tend to overcompensate. So be aware of that. What the fuck was that? He threw your pants, I think. <laughs> so I think I hit this at the camber or something. All right, turn around. No. no. That's good. All right, Vesk, let's see what you can do. Come on, Vesk. Gotta say, really you know, love Vesk? when doing Vesk drops. You can just lean point. forward, hit tire, yeah, no tail yeah, drag. Take a speed off that point. Yeah. I did find a bug in this firmware, especially on downhills. The, the nose would lift and start tail dragging. So I had to turn down the values a lot. And then for the next firmware, the ATR24 seems to have been resolved. And I think you guys are gonna really love that video when it comes out. Gonna be, gonna be testing it at the BMX Action Park. It's cool to see the, the journey of progression behind all of these firmware revisions and updates and just loving this journey. Yeah. Wow, look at that. This was one of my favorite parts of the whole trip. Apparently, Tahoe only has a few short weeks of the trees and leaves turning this color. So, just was so joyed to have experienced this because this is all covered by snow now. She said, Oh, ladies, you're making me blush. Right? <laughs> By the way, big shout out to Mitch for that firmware breakthrough about a month ago. Definitely helped a lot in the, the nose hunting. Though I will say for some reason my 84 volt board did not have any nose hunting issues on ATR beta firmware. So that was kind of interesting. So when I transitioned over to the new firmware, I didn't feel a huge difference. But on my trick board, the stunt pack, I did feel a difference and improvement of not nose hunting. So, either way, love the progression and the hard work Mitch and Dado and other people are doing. So, much love, appreciate you guys. Find me.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 the regen flying V. Woo!